the significance and role of science and technology and its impact on society has changed drastically development of science and technology in the field of education today distance learning is one of the most trending learning method virtual classes are slowly taking the place of traditional lectures development of science and technology in the medical field technology in the medical field has massive impact on nearly all processes and practices of healthcare professionals development of science and technology has made a great impact on the way we communicate globe becoming a global village development of science and technology in the agricultural field the agricultural sector carries immense importance for the indian economy development of science and technology in the field of artificial intelligence modern india has had a strong focus on science and technology realizing that is a key element for economic growth science without religion is lame religion without science is blind assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh we all know that today february 28 is national science day which marks the discovery of the raman effect of the scattering of light by the indian physicist sir c v raman on february 28 1928 for this he awarded nobel prize in 1930 science is the pursuit and application of knowledge and understanding of the natural and social world following systematic methodology based on evidence experiment and observation as benchmarks for testing hypotheses this year's theme of national science day 2021 is future of sti impacts on education skills and work that is the future impacts of science technology and innovation in the field of education and work using new technologies innovations can be carried out Science, technology, and innovations are an essential part of the development of economics and social development of our country. We all know that we are stuck in this pandemic coronavirus, but today every student can have access to online classes in one way or another. Schools have been doing it through multiple platforms such as Microsoft Teams, Google Classrooms, etc., all of which have only resulted proving once again to us the potential technology holds to reshape the education system for the better. A tech-enabled education system will be a pandemic-proof solution that can also be something after the pandemic. These all are the developments of science and technology. We, the students of Ness Public School, celebrates the National Science Day, Ness Vista 21, with a handful of events. Today, we have an eminent personality to share her thoughts to us, Ms. Hidayah Muhammad Abdul Qadir, Research Associate and PhD in Molecular Immunology, Biology Department, United Arab Emirates University, Alain, UAE. She has a few research publications in international scientific journals and almost a decade of serving as a scientist in various areas of life science such as cancer biology, genomics, cells, molecular biology and immunology. Now let us hear her inspiring words. Good morning children. I am Hidayah Muhammad Abdul Qadir from United Arab Emirates University, Alain. in UAE and I have been working as a scientist for the last uh, more than 10 years and currently pursuing my doctoral degree towards uh, molecular immunology. <clears throat> Today on this delightful event of celebrating the National Science Day, I am extremely happy to be a part of this event. and. Uh, <clears throat> I would just like to share a few of my thoughts and a few inspiring words to you uh, on this occasion. To start, as one of the most uh, renowned world scientists, Louis Pasteur once quoted, science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity and is the torch which illuminates the world. Science is not only a body of knowledge, it's a way of knowing and understanding the nature. and applying the knowledge towards our planet Earth and even beyond. 
being a life scientist i am happy to be one of the contributors towards the betterment of this humanity as you all know when this during this challenging time when the world is in the grasp of this pandemic known as the covid-19 it was the scientific community who could make a change by discovering the vaccine and giving us a ray of hope towards a cure towards this deadly disease so i take this opportunity to inspire and motivate you as the future generation to follow your passion and perceive your dreams and keep up the hope and faith in yourselves and to never give up whatever may happen in your lives again ending my words with one of the quotes of our own scientist dr apj abdul kalam who once said you were born with wings so don't crawl learn to use them to fly and fly thank you here comes the proud of nest a future scientist must have basil seen one of our alumni now let's hear some valuable words from basil friends i am basil selim kd I am one among the student of first batch of Nest Public School as well as the first tenth batch of Nest Public School. Okay, currently I am studying in Isa Kolkata. I think you have heard about Isa Kolkata. Isa means I I S E R, which means Indian Institute of Science, Education, and Research. So it's basic. It is basically related with science, producing scientists and research fellows. It's it's all about science. So. Uh, we are going to uh, celebrate national science day in 2021 the national science day on this february 28th right so it is based it is based on the memorable uh, moments of the uh, famous scientist uh, c v raman you have uh, you all have heard about him is a one of the passionate scientist ever india india have seen and uh, this national science day is based on his discovery on uh, what the raman spectroscopy the raman effect a far gone highly important discovery of scientific world so that's all the history about the national science day and i'm not getting into the history and what is science uh, why do we need to study science who is a science student or who is obviously who is a scientist that's that's a question we have i have to and so or i think i have to convey uh, the answer for that question who is a scientist obviously we are studying science that is physics chemistry biology everything mathematics in our uh, high school st uh, standards right 10th 9th 8th 8th standard we are studying these all subjects and uh, there are several laws there are several uh, theories several equations and most of the time we could not understand what we are doing uh, we could not understand what sort of equation uh, where this equation will lead us we are just studying is that science obviously it's of course it's not science why uh, i would say that science is something uh, that if you see a natural phenomena if you observe something around the environment or in your surrounding you could see several things around uh, around your surroundings right so as uh, someone uh, who is a scientist or someone who need who is interested in science obviously will ask some questions yes it's all about asking questions and trying to find out the answers first step is asking questions and what sort of questions they ask right the set of questions are why what when how these are the set of questions that scientist asks why why does that happen you see something a natural phenomena is happening and you ask the question why does that happen is it sometimes we ask the question how does that happen and sometimes when does that happen if you look at certain phenomena happening surrounding to you or oh, something uh, uh, which is happening in the atmosphere oh uh, let let us not go to the atmosphere just see some bird is flying a bird is flying how does that happen and why does that happen and why not some other animals can fly so a bird is flying but why can't we fly so these are the questions we ask why when how uh, what these questions so the basic instinct a scientist need is to ask question to find out the things and to 
to you have to need a, a craze towards understanding the thing around you that's mean by a scientist you must ask question then you have to answer the questions oh uh, i'm not saying you you must answer but you must try to answer the question and how that that is the thing uh, when you come to the uh, the syllabus of your 10th or 9th or 8th you're studying several things and you are you don't know what you're studying or what sort of uh, use this have, what is the application of these studies but i would say these are the tools that is used to answer the questions these questions what why the bird fly why these things happen like this what happens this what make this happen to this like that several questions are there and you want to answer that if you want to answer you must have some you must have some tools in your hands that tool is mathematics that tool is physics that tool is the basics of biology chemistry equations etc these are the just tools to open the mystery of the environment or the open the mystery of the nature so study for opening this uh, mysteries study uh, for don't study for the marks just study science so as you can open the mystery of science or mystery of uh, nature and always keep asking what why when and how these are the questions that make you a scientist thank you CV Raman born on the 7th of November 1988 is an Indian physicist mainly known in the field of light scattering. He is mainly known for the discovery of the Raman effect in 1928. Two years later he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics and became the first Indian to be awarded a Nobel Prize in any branch of science. Other than this CV Raman has made many other contributions to science like the reason for the sea's blue color the raman nag theory the discovery of soft mode and many more now i would like to speak a little more about the raman effect the raman scattering or the raman effect is the non elastic scattering of photons by matter meaning there is an exchange in energy and a change in the light direction when it passes through or is reflected by an object hello friends i am aisha samina of class 7 Today I am going to form an experiment. So, we all like to paint and color, but we usually use color, color pencils, paint, etc. But have we ever tried to color or paint using natural substances? I think no. So today I am going to show you how to do that. So let's start. Now I have taken a piece of paper. Now I am going to apply turmeric paste on the paper. Now I have applied turmeric paste on the paper. Now let's dry it. I dry the paper. Now I am going to draw a shape using detergent solution. Isn't it wonderful? This is because when paste is added into turmeric, the color changes into reddish brown. Now let's try another experiment. So I'm going to test whether the substance is acidic or basic in nature. For that we need indicators. Now I'm going to use hibiscus as an indicator. Hibiscus is also known as China rose. It is a natural indicator. Now let's look how to do that. So I have taken two bowls and to the both bowls I am going to add hibiscus solution. Now to the first bowl I am going to add detergent solution. And to the second bowl I am going to add vinegar.
Now let's mix it. Now you can see in the first bowl the color has changed into dark green and the second bowl the color has changed into magenta. This is because when acid is added into the mixes, the color changes into dark green or also it is known as magenta. And when base is added into the mixes, the color changes into dark green. Now we are going to do another experiment and this is just for fun. I have taken a bottle and added vinegar into it and also I have taken a balloon and added baking soda into it. Now let's attach this balloon to the bottle so that the baking soda will fall into the vinegar. When baking soda falls into the vinegar, a chemical reaction takes place and as the result of the chemical reaction, carbon dioxide is formed. This blow up the balloon. So we had done three experiments and I think you all like it. Thank you.